Are you still wasting time typing up your meeting notes? Here's why switching to an AI note taker will save you countless hours during the week. I will show you exactly which free tool I use and I will also share three secret tips and tricks how I turbo boosted my productivity using this new AI tool. And without wasting too much more time, let's get right to it. The AI note-taking tool that I am using is called Fathom AI, and it is a free version for individuals, and there is a paid plan for teams. So if you wanna use it for your company, there's a paid version, which is 20 bucks per month, or you can use the free version that I am currently using as well. I will show you quickly how to set it up, what settings I use, and I will also share my secret tips and tricks and prompts that I use to turbocharge my workflow. You can set up your free account really simply by going to Fathom AI note-taking app. There's a link in the description you can click or right up here and you can simply sign up with a new account. So I'm gonna click on sign in. I already have an account, uh, but let me pretend like I don't have one. I just sign in with my Google account. I'm gonna give it access to my calendar and then I will go through this quick survey. I will set the auto record to all the meetings in my calendar and uh, to share the recaps only with me, just because this is private, because I use it privately for my own purposes. Uh, work. I work in operation as an executive and then i'm currently not using a crm but this is where you could connect it to your custom crm i'm going to click continue and download the fathom app for my computer you can see here it's downloaded double click on that drag it into my applications folder and there we go. It's already installed and you can see it here on the top right corner to pop up. And you can see that Fathom is installed by this icon up here. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here on click and to install the Chrome plugin, add to Chrome, add extension, and then I'm gonna add it to my Chrome and you can see it right here. I need to sign in to give it access and I'm it's now extension is activated. As you can see, this took less than a minute and now how to use it, I go back to my Google Meet I'm going to create a new Google Meet. So now if I wanted to have Fathom record one of my meetings, let's say in Google Meet, I click on a new meeting, start meeting instantly. And then there is going to be a symbol at the bottom left here, which is the Fathom note taker that you can have join. So in this case, I'm going to click on this right here. It will ask this Fathom note taker to be added to the meeting in just a second. I will admit this note taker and the Fathom note taker has joined this meeting and is recording. So now it says waiting for attendees to join before recording this call for note taking purposes. Right now, we only have myself in this call, so it is not starting to record any of the meetings because it's just me right now. If another person were to join this call, it would start the note taking and the recording right away. Now, how does this look within your Fathom app? If you wanna check out your meetings, you can click to menu and you can click on your recordings and go up here and you see your example calls. Here's a test call from 2022. Here's a test call for from when I had it in 2021. But as you record meetings, they will show up here. Let's say we want to analyze one of my calls. Let's go for example, this Fathom demo tutorial here. You will see that the transcript will be shown under this video. You can start right. and pause the video and click to relevant sections, or I go to the chronological summary tab and it will summarize my meeting for me. In this case, it takes a few seconds. And here you see exactly what was covered in this meeting. If you wanna share some of these now with your colleagues or your friends, you can click on share and share this link. Alternatively, what I really like is that you can look into specific things. For example, you can share just the post call workflow and features. Now. So you can click on this now. and it will go to the video where it talks about the post call workflow and features, kind of what we're talking about right now. When you record a meeting, you can say that there is an insight, there's something positive, there's a feedback or an objection. You can click on that and it will record that within the meeting and it will annotate that in your call. So for example, here at some point he uh, said for internal team only, and it was set at the two minute and 39 second mark. And now I can share just that part where he keeps talking. So I can now click on this and share just this one second. So if I were to share this with my colleagues, I would just see those probably that minute now, or so. You've got to kind of jump for Fathom yeah, typically. That's only 30 is. seconds of that particular thing that you wanted to share. Now let me give you a few tips on how I specifically use this particular app and go to my, um, go to my main account. So in this case, I have used Fathom to interview candidates for our company. So I can click on the particular candidate and I can see all these different action items. I see the questions that I post, I see the answers that they gave me, and then I can even click here and click on 
candidate interview for my summary notes. It will not just give me a summary and the transcript, but it will also bucket them in a candidate interview exactly in the format that I want it. And I can now integrate that into my interview CRM to know what notes I have for each candidate and how the interview went with them. So as you can see here, we can see the candidate background, relevant accomplishment and experience with relevant tools. Overall, this is a very powerful tool. So for this in particular candidate, what I really like that you can uh, create a follow-up email based on the contents that were discussed during the meeting. And it does that based on action items that were selected. So as you can see here, I clicked on copy follow-up email. It is generating a response to this candidate. And this is the response that it gave. As you can see here, I blurred out this part because I want this candidate to be anonymous. And then I'm gonna say, delete this and now have the coding assignment here and it's all ready to go. This is already really powerful, but I like the settings that they have in particular. So here I can enable it to record with Zoom, with Google Meets, with Microsoft Teams. I can integrate it into my CRM with Zapier. So whenever an action happens, you can connect it with your Slack, with your Teams uh, notifications. I currently don't have that connected, but I see how powerful that is. The, uh, you can change the bot name when you join as a user. So I usually like to change this to most note taker, and I can also change the preview of the notification banner or even disable it. However, you need to make the person aware that you are recording each of the calls, otherwise it violates their privacy. You can also then auto-generate action items. You can turn that off or on, and then you can, like I said already, connect it with Slack, with Salesforce, and uh, give recording rec uh, consent in different ways. And you can auto-request recording consent when the people join the meeting. All right, one more question that I get a lot about them is if you can trust them and in my opinion I do trust them but uh, check out their privacy policy to learn more about whether or not you can trust them themselves uh, make that educated decision yourself and also check with your own company's policies if you're allowed to use a tool like this so really the key things that are important is that they do not use any customer data to train AI models and they don't allow OpenAI or Anthropic to do that either. The data is uh, encrypted end to end and then they store the data in the United States. They also, you can request to sign a mutual non-disclosure agreement via this form here. And um, they also have cybersecurity insurance and they you can request them to delete your data at any point. So the last thing I wanted to share with you is their Teams edition, which is not free. So the Teams edition does cost $20, as you can see here per user or $20 or $30 if you want the tool to connect with your CRM to have the SOC to report access and then advanced access controls and Zapier integration. But in my opinion, the standard model is already really good. But if you really want the CRM sync and Zapier integrations, then uh, you might want to go with the pro model. And in my opinion, the 30 bucks is totally worth it because it saves you multiple hours per month. And overall, having the transcripts and the note takers and the AI summary is super, super helpful. But for myself, using the Fathom free edition is really, really helpful. And I don't even need to pay for the paid version. I wanted to share a few more things that you can use uh, with these transcripts. So if you look at the transcripts here, you can copy the entire transcript and do whatever you want with that. So you can add them to your Google Notes if you want to search through, the, through them or you can connect them with Notion. But what I like to use this for is by making special analysis with ChatGPT. So I created a master meeting productivity guide and within that I have a few prompts that I use. So this one in particular, I really liked, which is a prompt that gives me an email to follow up with the participant. I copy this prompt and you can find this prompt in the description below. I go to ChatGPT and I copy this in here. And then I take the meeting note transcripts that are from here, copy the transcript, insert here, and let it do its thing. So now it, it's creating a follow-up uh, called Fathom the Demo. Dear Richards and Suzanne, thanks so much for the informative demo. And then it goes through the discussion points, it goes through the action items, and it also shares additional notes. Feel free to edit this and make sure that it's correct before sending it. But I think this is super helpful and, and speeds up my whole process of sending follow-up emails. Uh, just be aware that you always want it to be correct. So always check through it and make sure that it doesn't sound stale and like ChatGPT wrote it. Another thing I wanted to share with you is uh, creating an executive summary. So I, I'm going to use my prompt here that I've carefully crafted and I'm going to use the same thing as before. I go to ChatGPT. I insert this here, insert transcript. We've already inserted it, but let's do that one more time. Go to Fathom, click copy transcript, and then insert transcript. 
And here is the executive summary. The overview is the meeting was a demo of Fathom led by Richard White, the founder of Fathom with Suzanne Durand from the growth and customer success team. And then it goes through the key outcomes, post call capabilities. It goes through all the features and the strategic decisions, anticipating impact. And overall, this is a really in-depth summary based on the nine minute meeting. And it saves me looking through the whole meeting and writing this executive summary myself. And similarly, what you can also do is you can create detailed meeting minutes that are very concise. You can also do action items and follow up tasks. Uh, and summarize those so that you can share them with the team. And then you can also do key point summarization, uh, sentiment analysis, topic categorization, feedback creation, and all of these are tools and prompts that I've crafted over the last few months in order to really help me out and turbocharge my use of this note-taking tool. If you want access to this, uh, let me know in the comments and there should also be a link where you can download this. Please let me know what your thoughts are. I highly encourage you to try it out yourselves and save you tons of time with your meeting taking. I have a video coming up on the top mistakes that people make in Zoom meetings. Subscribe to be notified when that drops and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.